Good morning, everybody. So today we're gonna do a little vlog. Um, I've got to take the Mustang to a friend of mine's shop in Orlando um, called Dynasty Automotive um, to get an alignment done because I never did that uh, after uh, we did the coilovers. So this weekend we're going up to Georgia to race um, at the Dixie Match Tour. The, uh, no, Championship Tour. So we need to do that. Um, We'll get an oil change as well because I kind of feel like being lazy and while it's up on the lift, uh, they can do it. So uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and get started. All right, so uh, cold start, here we go. It's always so weird walking around with a camera. So people kind of look at you funny when you sit there and record a gas pump. So yeah, but uh, I uh, grabbed some uh, Dunkin' and a drink. Also, I picked up Shelby on on the way as well. guys so we just made it to dynasty automotive here in orlando florida um is the the company is owned by a friend of mine chi who races scca um so yeah we'll get the mustang in and uh we'll uh, show you what's going on yeah i'm curious to see how many uh, degrees we can actually get out of this what did you have before you know I don't remember, but it was limited by the spring, so. Oh, okay, so you haven't got, I got it. Yeah, this, yeah, this is a completely new setup, hasn't ever been aligned. That's why there's actually, I think, a little bit of um, positive camber on this side, it looked like. Oh, but there yeah, was yeah, I think there was, so. I'm just curious to see what it's going to end up as. Ready? Yep. Now, get over the street. Off the lift, so the tire will go. And then that goes. 
brake and the seat. And then we're going to turn the wheel and follow the screen. Once we turn it to the left, to the green, turn it to the right, to the green. Send the steering wheel and lock it in place. What eight seven zero six two? No, no. What did I say the camber was when I looked at it? Oh, like one and a half. One, one, one. To one yeah. It's not one six one seven. <laughs> Too bad. Yeah. So I'm not gonna mess with that. Cause, I mean, if you if you wanted to be Matt. <laughs> Yeah. Because we can't get any more out of that. We would balance it out with that, that yeah. Back, take the yeah. tent and be happy. Cast is great. Cross cast is good. And there's nothing we can do in the rear. I don't like that. The rear end's twisted, but it's not in straight. The camera's okay. It's a little negative, it's, it's fine. But it's probably the bush. Toe. Yeah, it's probably the bushing. But your thrust angle is that. And it, you can see it's even. It's minus 530 seconds and plus 530 seconds. So it's just twisted a little. Hmm. So. So, front. so all, we, all we're doing is tweaking the toe. And what do, we, what do you want for a toe? Just maybe a hair out, hair just a out. little bit. 30 seconds. Yeah. 30 seconds. Yeah, I want to eventually upgrade all of the um, bushings to spherical. Okay. Oh, that is leaking. Son of a bitch. Oh, oh shit. Damn it. From the cover, or? yeah, we did a, uh, a torsion T2R okay. about three months ago. I'll have to. Uh, did you put a gasket or did you GMF uh, silicone? I think he siliconed it. Actually, I think there's gasket and silicone. Yeah, we'll do both. Yeah. Do one or the other. Yeah, I'll have to uh, yeah. get that taken care of when I get back. If they make a, a, lot, a lot of them. They don't make the gasket. If they make a gasket. Gasket's great. Clean it up nice and shiny, and just use a gasket. Um, but if they don't, then you clean it up and just use a jeep. But you don't don't put both. Yeah. So it happens that the silicone doesn't spread out perfect on it. Mm -hmm. um, It'll create a ridge. Flat, yeah. There's a little lump somewhere, and that's all it needs to, to find its way out. Yeah, it's probably one of these bushings that are toast now. Anything noticeable? I mean, because that, that's not much. That's so yeah. significant, but when you get all the way up to the end of the tire, then it makes sense. Yeah, I don't see anything squished out anywhere. Oh, Lord. What do we got? There's freaking transmission Rain? fluid everywhere. Yeah, that red is you. That coolant is uh, from the last car I just topped off when I did the oil change. What that in the one. hell? Where so, is that leaking from? The screen that gets me fine tuned. It's called wind toe. It gives me my toe, total toe, and then it tells me what my steer ahead is. So it kind of has an algorithm that looks at the difference in that one tenth of camber, and it adjusts it so that, you know, so I'm looking at what you want for tow, and then I'm making sure my zip, my steer head is going to be zero. So it's like, okay.
just sitting here, it'll bounce around. I always try to get it. Pretty damn you close. You feel that point. Yeah. Like said, anything under 0 0.05, you're not even going to sit. It's really, it's really close. close. Yeah, that place does go to line with everything's in the red. <laughs> yeah, right? But it goes faster around corners. Mm-hmm. All right, guys, so just finished up at uh, Dynasty. Um, we ended up finding out that um, the guy who did my trans flush overfilled it, so the trans food fluid was leaking out at the uh, at the top of the transmission. So that's all fixed now. The alignment is, is good. So the alignment's good. Um, now we're heading over to a friend of mine's house to pick up a harness bar for the car. The plan was for us to go out and eat um, lunch somewhere in Orlando, but we ended up getting kind of caught up in uh, getting the car prepped. So oil change, uh, alignment, and the trans fluid issue is fixed. So, uh, and yeah, the, the rear diff is, is leaking a little bit from, from the, uh, from the cover but um, i'll fix that when we get back so but yeah we'll uh, go off to jose's house all right guys so this is like what four hours later uh, i had some personal stuff i had to do i had to run around uh town and uh register the titan and handle the insurance for that so that's all plated and ready to go um i sold the fiesta so the titan will be the new daily um but yeah, so right now we have to switch out the exhaust on the Mustang and put the stock ones back on because the axle backs, the Roush axle backs, are too loud and um, actually blew sound one year and lost a trophy because of it. So uh, that's what we're about ready to do is put those giant mufflers on there, the Roush axle backs, just too loud. All right, so um, first thing to do is loosen these which I've already done. Um, they're 13 millimeter. And then what I'll do is I'll take this guy off, which is right here. And then hand me that ratchet that's right here. Um, I gotta get the shallow. All right, so now that I've grabbed the shorty socket, which I grabbed the wrench, but didn't grab the socket that I needed. So I'll take this guy off. Up on my head, which it may very well do. here. Nick Fiddick. Alright, so I took the old mufflers, or the Roush mufflers off. Um, this is a comparison between them factory Roush so uh, it's kind of a pain in the butt to take these off because of this right here so what I might do I might cut that off real quick just because it's a real pain in the ass to do um, the Roush one does have one so I think I'll do that real quick all right well uh, that's off now more little nipple. Alright, so got the factory mufflers back on. Um, it's kind of a pain in the butt to do by yourself. But, yep. So, I'm going to go ahead and start the car up real quick and make sure we don't have any exhaust leaks. And see how terrible this car sounds with stock exhaust.
Yep, back to terrible sounding. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that wraps up uh, this this little vlog. Um, not really any interesting stuff going on today. Just a lot of running around and trying to prep for uh, the uh, the Dixie tour this weekend. Um, so I think I'll probably do a um, an entire like I don't know if I'll do a vlog or I'll do a video or something like that of um, the the Dixie. I think it's Dixie Champ tour. It was a national tour last year or year before something like that. But yep. So um, that's it for today. Um, Go ahead and like this video uh, if you find it semi-entertaining. Um, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And um, yeah, drop us a comment and let us know uh, what you think about this little vlog. I don't know if we should do more vlog stuff or more like proper video stuff and whatnot. But yeah, so uh, yeah, let us know. And uh, we'll catch you next time.